Hey, it's Ponder the Light. I recently was asked on one of my streams, how do you shade in Toon Boom Harmony? And that's what I'll be showing you all today. I hope that this is helpful to any Toon Boom users. All right, let's get started. For my example, I'll draw a simple cat. My OC, in fact. I did the liner and the sketch like I would any other drawing or animation, though I did not animate this, as that would take way too much time. And all right, it's done. So now it's time to shade. Before I explain, please note that you must use the pencil tool in order for this to work, not the brush tool. It may be hard to get used to at first if you normally use the brush, but once you get the hang of it, it really is quite easy. What I do is I take the color red and I draw lines in places that divide the areas that I do want shaded with the places that I do not want shaded. I would do this to every frame before coloring them because otherwise the onion skinning would be lost and we would end up with a shaky animation. Make sure that your onion skinning is on, it's important. Now, once I'm done, I take the colors that I need to make the animation. For my example, I will be using a two colored character, not counting eyes, so I will need four colors, two normal and two shaded. What I do is, I duplicate these colors and then I make them slightly darker. Because of how Toon Boom works, if you decided that you did not like your color choice in shading, for example, if it was too dark or too light, then you could change the color and all the colored frames would already change to that newly changed color. Neat, right? Now, color the parts that you want to be normal in with the normal colors, and the parts that should be darker with the shaded colors. Do this to all of your frames, and then, take your black select tool at the top of your toolbar and select Tool Properties. If you cannot find it, go to the same window with the coloring options, press the plus sign, and then you can select the Tool Properties. You'll be able to tap each window to switch between these views. Now, press the red select tool, and go back to your camera view. Now, select any red line, and all of them will be selected. Now, press delete on your keyboard and bam! You have yourself some shading now. Do this to all the frames and you should be good to go. There may be some small open spots that haven't been painted when you use the red lines, so simply fill those in. This process also works for marking, so if you don't want them black lined or sloppy, instead of using red, I use blue for the markings, while red for the shading, to keep things more organized. However, just because I use these colors doesn't mean that you have to. Any colors will work, as long as they are different from the line art color and any other colors in your animation, as this special select tool selects everything of that color on that specific frame. Don't worry if you use a red sketch, because this only affects the line art, as that's when you should use this trick. I hope that this helps some people. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later! Bye!